Hello and welcome to Elkhorn Grove. Today we are here off of Jones and Elkhorn up in the northwest and we're going to be seeing this two-story model. It's called the Rubino. This one is beautiful. It's huge. 3,356 square feet. It's four or five bedrooms. Your choice, three or four full baths, one half bath. And it does have a three-car garage. Um, it has the tandem port there. This is a brand new community. Once again, this is called Elkhorn Grove. I asked how many they have sold. It's uh, 200 homes will be built in this site and they've sold one. So we have 199 to go. So you're not missing out on anything yet on this one, but uh, it's definitely worth a look if you like this style of home. This Rubino, they have three different finishes with this builder. They have the Spanish contemporary modern uh, craftsman and the modern farmhouse finish. This is the modern farmhouse finish with the stone out front that you could see here as well as kind of the wood planks there and all the windows. Really, really pretty. And you can see you have the pavers in the driveway and the paved front porch here. So the starting price on this home with the uh, farmhouse finish is 746995. We're going to go in we're going to take a look. It's a lot to see. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we do, if you like this material, you like this content, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel to get more home tours. We do at least one a week, try to do two a week, but been crazy busy lately. And leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of this home uh, and anything that you think about the materials, the choices, um, anything at all. Let's go check it out. So coming in right off the front here, the first thing you notice is these this is actually 20 feet ceilings all the way to the top here in this foyer area. You have your stairs off to the right with the wooden rail. You have this lovely sitting area right off the front too. This is really, really beautiful. And this is kind of the mint green cabinets with the brushed gold fixtures, soft clothes, just a lot of attention to detail. Can lighting in here. A couple big windows. Now this isn't going to be the case for all of the homes. This is just a model home. But here in the Northwest, you do have a lot of ability to get mountain views depending on which area you are at. Now obviously they're going to build over there eventually and that's going to get rid of some of those mountain views. But like I said, 199 lots, depending on the lot you choose, you might get more views than others. Now this has, this almost feels like real hardwood, but I don't think it is. I think it's uh, LVP. I'm going to have to ask though, because this is really, really nice. Coming in from the front here, if you hang a left, you have your powder room. Got wallpaper in here. Let me see, they got the gold fixtures in here as well. And a little bit of a linen closet. is really really nice before we go into the living area in the kitchen we're going to hang a right here and this is going to be another coat closet oh i'm just kidding this is your harry potter closet this is the one underneath the stairs where i mean look you have a massive 75 inch tv and more than enough room for anything else in there as well and this is going to lead to the garage probably not going to have access it is locked in most model homes, the garage is locked, so we won't be able to show those. So one thing I didn't notice coming in, but definitely notice now, there's just so much to notice. These baseboards are seven and a quarter inch. It's very, very nice. Yeah, pretty large kitchen here. range and the hood giant undermount white Kohler sink with the gold uh, gold faucet here so you have your sink in the middle island the dishwasher here as well your range directly behind that
double oven over here on the walls, and a small office space right here. That's interesting. But if you turn this corner, it leads to the massive pantry. Now this is custom shelving in this pantry. This doesn't come included, but and this is awesome. Uh, it got more than enough room for everything that you may need. I believe those are, I felt like soft clothes. It just was a little bit rough to pull out. But you can see the way I have it modeled here. You have your cutting boards there. And you have these custom baskets as well. This is where your refrigerator would be. You have a small convection oven right here as well. More counter space leading over here. Pendant lining over the island, over the kitchen table, and a large light right in the great room. It's kind of nice how they have this set up. You guys can see the wood beams on the ceilings. That's not an option that's available, but there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, people these days, I actually see one of the cheapest, and you can't tell the difference, is you get a two by four, but then you have a stone, or I'm sorry, a styrofoam uh, that goes around it, and it looks just like a wood beam. You couldn't tell the difference unless you were to touch it. It's a very cheap way to get that wood beam on the ceiling, and you could do that after the fact. Now, obviously, your backyard is not going to look like this. This is a finished backyard. When you buy a new build, 90% of the time, it's going to be a dirt lot in the back. But one thing that was told is that the lots on the, the, the builds over here in this neighborhood, the smallest one is going to be 8,200 square feet, which is a really, really good sized lot for a new build here in Las Vegas. And lot premium for the smallest one is going to be about 10,000. Uh, 10,000 for the lot premium on the smallest option. Once you get into cul-de-sacs, corner lots, you're going to have a little bit more. Those power lines, those aren't going to be here. I know some people they don't like the power lines. I don't either in my own backyard. They're not going to be there, so you don't have to worry about that. That's just to help power um, the office because this community is not built out yet. Another closet here. Interesting spot for it. Let's go on upstairs. Let's check that out. 42 inch cabinets. I didn't really touch on that. Got the recessed lighting underneath. You could see that. Very nice, actually. This is beautiful. And you have the dovetail joints. It's really, really good, strong joint. You don't have to worry about these cabinets breaking. Beautiful. Extra storage space underneath. The island. Let's see, I didn't get a chance to really view. I'm all, I'm all over the place. This is my first time seeing this one. Lip on the island there. You can fit about three bar stools over there comfortably. Let's go upstairs. Let's check that out. You see this beautiful area here. See, they got the chip like wood on this side here. Wallpaper design on the back wall of your loft area here. Pretty good sized guest bedroom. Here's your closet area. You have the six panel door on the closet. Average size closet there. Try to slow down a little bit for you. You can see, this is the model, but there is nothing out here yet. So, this is the place to be so far if you want availability. In suite bath on this one. Look at this. 
your white quartz. Interesting tile. The subway tile on the back shower there. Gold faucet, gold handle. Another bedroom here. Let's see, no in suite bath on this one, but you do have a small walk in closet. Not massive. Let's back up a little. This is a large home. This is 3,300 square feet, 3,350, I'm sorry, 3,556, pardon me. So they have this model as the four bedroom because your fifth bedroom would be, let me back up a little bit here. I know I'm all over the place. I apologize. Your fifth bedroom would be right over there where that loft is. And you guys see here they have the six panel doors on all of the bedrooms. Your laundry area with your sink. Here's where your washer and dryer would be with the brick floor. Y'all can see they got the parquet uh, brick floor pattern here. Your smart panel right there. And a little bit of a folding area here with some cabinetry as well. Your guest bathroom. Same thing with the parquet tile in here. And then hexagonal tile of a turquoise color inside of the bath with a fiberglass tub. Very interesting. All right. What do you all think so far? Leave a comment down below. This has the pink wallpaper, pink walls, seven and a quarter inch baseboards. Two large windows facing out front here. They're in one of these two stories. A lot of the time what they'll do is they'll kind of compartmentalize these two stories and one stories. So that way your views aren't going to be blocked off by another two story. And a lot of times you still will have mountain views wherever you are. Depends, of course. It's not always the case, but there are lots, lots of lots available not to be redundant. Walk-in closet, window in the walk-in closet. Circle around here and we'll head on out. So here are your guest bedrooms. Your one, two, three guest bedroom, third guest bedroom has an in-suite bath. Let me show you guys your primary. Wow, they put the, the wood beam in the primary. That's lovely. They have the stone on the back wall there. This is very nice. King size bed, give you an idea of how big this is, with two large nightstands, about three and a half, four feet long, each one of them, still more than enough room to move about. Your stucco patio right here. Ooh. I don't know why every day that I show a house it has to be a super windy day. A little windy out here today. lot is you're gonna have a cul-de-sac there cul-de-sac there this neighborhood is going to be 200 home sites as I mentioned it's definitely not biting with my hair today all right look at this and they have a separate kind of loft getaway for your primary bedroom with the wood ship lap in the back there cabinet space, kind of a sitting area. So if you want to keep your bedroom, your bedroom, but also have a TV, this would be a great place to have it. Off to the right, they have the tile. It's like the six inch by six inch Brock tile there, makes the pattern with the tub in the middle of your two sinks closet, walk-in closet, but 
there looks like there may be another one or the toilet room down on the other side stand up shower glass door gold fixture in the gold shower head oh i'm sorry and then here is your other closet two closets two sinks large tub in the middle so this is the rubino model if you like this model you want some more information or you want to know about some of the incentives that this builder has right now give us a call my number is 702-823-9562 my name is joshua moans i work with real broken i look forward to helping you in the future have a great day